Jesus has commanded us to make disciples of all nations. When we teach and learn, we are fulfilling the great commission that was given to us by our Lord. All of us are involved daily in this ministry of learning as we help each other come to know the love of Christ through our words and actions. Especially now, we recognize those with special callings to teach and learn the faith in our Sunday school classes. As I call the name of each teacher, I will ask them to come forward and stand here and face me. And I will also ask that all of the students in their classes, even if your teacher or even if you don't know who your teacher is yet, isn't here, all my Sunday school students come forward as well and gather behind them. Teaching our Luther Littles, Kaylee Cooper, Joyce Davis, Helen Graff, Don Linden, Karen Saliker, Julie Schrader, and Jan Sullivan. Luther Middles, Rebecca Nags, Evan Neidig, and myself. Luther League, Todd Costello, Becky Malloy, and Kristen Waite. And our adult Sunday school, Pastor Steve, who if you haven't noticed, is on vacation and not here. <laughs> and any students, I invite you now to come up too. Come on up. Go stand behind somebody, anybody. Make them feel loved, even if they're your mom. <laughs> Teachers, will you endeavor to be faithful to the gospel as you serve this community through your teaching ministry? If so, answer, yes, by the help of God. Yes, by the help of God. Will you be diligent in your study of the Holy Scriptures and faithful in your regular use of the means of grace and in prayer? If so, answer, yes, by the help of God. Yes, by the help of God. Will you trust in God's care Seek to grow in love for those you serve. Pray for your students, strive for excellence in your skills, and adorn the gospel of God with a godly life. If so, answer, yes, by the help of God. Yes, yes by the help of God. Students, good morning, of these teachers, your turn. Will you listen to them, share with them, and receive them as God's servants sent to you to bring his love to you? If so, answer, yes, by the help of God. Yes, by the help of God. Will you pray for them, encourage them, and support them? If so, say, yes, by the help of God. One of the most ancient forms of blessing found in the Bible involves the laying on of hands. I invite teachers, if you would kneel, or find a spot to kneel, and students, Whoever the teacher is in front of you, it doesn't matter. I invite you to lay a hand either on their head or their shoulder without giving them a concussion when you do it. <laughs> Very important. So go ahead and do that now. Go ahead. And if you can't reach, you can put it on the person in front of you and it'll be kind of like a chain reaction of things. Hence why, well, hence why I said don't give your mother a concussion, right? That was, that was a very firm instruction. Okay. Let us pray. Gracious God, Bless these teachers and their students as they share your loving message of grace and life in Jesus our Savior. Give them wisdom and understanding and pour out your Holy Spirit on them that they may show, we're not hitting over there, thank you, and may they show in their lives to each other and to the world the love you have shown us. Support all who teach and all who learn that together we may know your will through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Teachers, you may stand. <laughs> may this year of learning and teaching be open and full of the Holy Spirit in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You may return to your seats. <laughs> 